here we are again, unboxing with Buckshot video number two. Uh, I thought the first, uh, the first video went really good and, uh, you know, had a really great uh, response. Everybody seemed to dig what we did. And uh, it was a huge learning uh, experience and learning curve for me. Uh, I will say I'm a little bit more prepared this time. I actually have a six foot table that the camera's setting on and I've got some room up here to put some stuff and as well as, you know, got a, got a big table right here behind us and I brought my bottled water this time. So, uh, I think, uh, I think we're ready to go. So, you know, let's get to it. What we have here is a Star Wars Vintage Collection. It's the special action figure set with this one actually has Darth Vader in it. And uh, this is kind of more one of the one of the harder ones to find. This is from the Vintage Collection. This is Star Wars from the Phantom Menace movie. Pretty cool. Naboo Royal Guard still has the uh, sticker on it that wasn't removed. That uh, sticker was like for a chance to get a, uh, I believe it was like a Darth Maul life-size statue. This here is a G.I. Joe classified series, Arctic Mission Storm Shadow. This is actually one of the more super, super hard and uh, very rare, very hard to find figures in that toy line. This here is a Star Wars vintage collection. You know, I collect a lot of toys, but if you haven't already figured out, Star Wars vintage collection is my, that's my go-to. That's the that's the one that I'm most passionate about uh, collecting. This is an incinerator trooper. If I'm not mistaken, this is a uh, Walmart exclusive. And it's in pretty decent shape. That's one thing uh, with the Walmart exclusives. Sometimes it's a crapshoot on getting something that's going to be in really really nice shape you always have to be careful whenever you get any target walmart exclusives uh, and there's even kmart exclusives which i don't think i don't think kmart uh i'm pretty sure they've all closed in kentucky i'm pretty sure they've they've closed their doors nationwide but any of those chain store exclusives uh they're not really uh, handled well, obviously, in the store. So sometimes it can be really uh, tricky getting one in the shape you want it in. Here we have some more Star Wars. And this is another Walmart exclusive. This is Arc Commander Havoc. It's actually a newer figure. I went to a couple of Walmarts looking for this and didn't have luck. And this is an eBay purchase. And it's so hard uh, looking at the shape of figures online because pictures just of the cardboard just doesn't do them justice. Oh, shit. This isn't mine. All right. This is actually uh, my kid's mother's. And this here is a Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi, which I did not notice this ugly sticker in the top corner. Oh, wow. This right here is a very, very rare 
action figure. This is from it's Return of the Jedi. But if you notice on the title, it says Revenge of the Jedi, which little Easter egg for those who don't know. Originally, the Star Wars movie Return of the Jedi was going to be called Revenge of the Jedi. And uh, they did this as a uh, just like a variant. But uh, it's got the sticker you can see on there that was never used. This is a very rare and a very expensive item that I've been looking for for a long time. And uh, this is awesome. Wow. This uh this is pretty damn cool. So this right here is a uh sorry, I've got to stare at this thing of the Star Wars Vintage Collection series. This is the most rare and hard to get figure. It is Jar Jar Binks. And if you notice, uh, it's, it's Phantom Menace, but this isn't just a regular Jar Jar Binks. It's a Jar Jar Binks in Carbonite. And uh, this is San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I've seen this figure go anywhere from $700 to $1,200, $1,300. And uh, I've been hunting for this for a long time for the right price and the right shape. And like this thing looks perfect. You can tell they shipped it in this awesome acrylic case. It's not punched. You can sell like in the, uh, let me see how close I can get this. You can see the little hanger where they punch them out for stores to hang on on the shelf. And you know, this is obviously wasn't meant for retail stores, but this is like a crown jewel of my collection. So that's pretty awesome. I got to share this with you all. Wow. Like, those last two figures, for me, like, that's what it's about. Some more Star Wars. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Man, we're just getting, picking out doozies. So, this is a Star Wars Vintage Collection first series Darth Vader from the Empire Strikes Back movie. You can see it's got the sticker on it uh, for the free Boba Fett figure that has not been removed. Those stickers left on there make them more valuable. And if you notice, this has foil instead of the typical artwork, foil around the borders. And uh, this is one that I've been looking for for a while. But once again, it, you know, most of them, the cards, the backings are bent up or damaged, and I don't, uh, I don't get them when they're like that. Gosh, three in a row like that. Like to me, I could stop right now. Like that's any toy collectors, that, especially Star Wars heads, who's watching this. Like you know, you know, with you know, with those, so. I feel like a uh, kid on Christmas Day right now. Oh, okay. This right here is a Star Wars Rebel Fleet Trooper pack. There's actually, I think, four Rebel Troopers. Uh, this is one of those special Hasbro Pulse releases. I have no idea. I don't even know if this is a toy. This might be just something that I ordered that I didn't pull. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah. This is another San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And for those who have ever heard of the video game Angry Birds, this is a mashup 
It's a 2013 Comic Con exclusive. This is pretty damn cool. This is an Angry Birds and Star Wars mashup collection. But I'll hold this up just to let you all get a cool look at it. But it's basically all the Angry Birds characters as Star Wars characters. So, this is awesome. Really, really, really cool. Some really interesting stuff today, huh? But these are uh, from the Empire Strikes Back Retro Collection. And uh, it's the Bounty Hunters, who are some of my favorite, some of my favorite uh, characters. This one is Boba Fett and Bosk. And it's a two-pack of figures, and they come in this special, special two-pack. And hopefully, I open the right one. I actually ordered four of these boxes, so two of the figures I can take out and put with the rest of the collection. And then I keep the other two pack sealed. But two of these other figures are IG-88 and Dengar, which I got lucky, so I don't have to open the other ones. But that's the other two pack with Dengar and IG-88. These are pretty cool. And these are in amazing shape. I have a feeling by this box, this is going to be the same thing that I just showed you, except for different characters. Yep. And this is Zuckus and Forlom. The Bounty Hunters kick ass. Some of my favorite villains in all of Star Wars, to be honest. I actually have a really, for those who have seen my uh, studio down in the basement, I've got a really dope Darth Vader with the Bounty Hunters painting above my uh, studio board. Oh, nice. This is a Return of the Jedi, the Emperor figure. You look in the background there, you see like the blue lightning bolts that come out of his hand. Case looks like it's in perfect shape. It's been a been a great, great unboxing so far. Now this here is not a toy, but wait till the end of the video and I'm gonna unbox this. This what's in there is more music related. But it's one of the coolest things that I've honestly ever gotten. It actually got delivered to my house today. And I didn't realize it was coming so soon. But I've actually been waiting on it for over a year. I didn't think it was shipping till next month. But it came today. So, very excited about what's in that. Now, I'll share that with you all. Here we have... More Star Wars. <laughs> All right. This is a special newer version. It's 50 years of Lucasfilm. And this is one of those Walmart exclusives. But this is a Return of the Jedi Princess Leia in her indoor outfit. Let's keep rolling. This right here is a Empire Strikes Back cloud car pilot. Wow, this thing's in amazing condition. This is a one of the older beginning of the lines, but you see it's got the Boba Fett sticker on it, and this thing's like immaculate. I love when something comes in this kind of shape. I know this is only the second unboxing video I've done for you all, but I've obviously done a ton of unboxings for myself. And already, this is my favorite one. Here we got a Walmart exclusive. They always scare me. 
but this is uh, from Return of the Jedi. This is the Ewok Paplu. I can't stand the sound of cardboard cutting. Ugh. You talk about something grinding my gears. Oh, and I'll tell you this too. You ain't never been cut until you've been cut by cardboard. I swear I'd almost rather be stabbed with a knife. I think cardboard cuts about the worst cut I've ever had. No, oh, it's giving me shivers thinking about it, honestly. Man, what is in this thing? This thing packed like Fort Knox. Ugh, I hate peanuts. They're messy. They get all over the place. They're bad for the environment. This is a Revenge of the Sith. Anakin Skywalker, who, for those who don't know, this is uh, his figure uh, in the movie right before he turns to Darth Vader. It's actually, uh, this is a very, very hard figure to find. And if you find it, it's very, very pricey. Now I've got, they make a version of that with the foil that I showed you all earlier. I've got the foil version, which is the, the nicer version. But uh, I wanted the regular version, so that's why I picked one of those up. Those things are becoming way more hard to find, and they are getting very expensive. So, honestly, a lot of this stuff, that's why I just went ahead and picked a lot of this stuff up recently. Because uh, if I don't now, it's going to cost me three times the price later. So, might as well get it out of the way. I like bubble wrap because it makes the stuff come safe, but I swear it can be very annoying sometimes. But I'm just bitching to bitch now. Phantom Menace, Mahonic. It's not punched out, super, super nice condition. You know what's wild, I'll give you a quick, well, I thought there was another one in there. I'll give you a quick background story on that figure that I just showed you. I could have bought that figure like a year ago for like 14, 15 bucks. And it was one of those things. It's, it's not like, it's not like an important figure. And I was just like, you know, I'll pick it up one day. I'll pick it up one day. And then I was going through my checklist and was like, ah, I should, I need to go and get this now. And I remember back in the day, you could like get on eBay and find 15 of those at all times for 13 to 18 bucks. I paid like 55 bucks for that thing. So that's what my procrastination got me. Not happy about that, but I did it to myself. This here is a Revenge of the Sith General Grievous. First edition. This is one of those situations. I've got the foil, which is the nicer one, but I wanted to pick up the regular version. So, Star Wars special three figure set from the Obi Wan Kenobi show. It's the Jawa Tika, a purge trooper with the phase two armor and Ben Kenobi. All righty. Oh, wow. Okay, we got some cool stuff in here. This is a Revenge of the Jedi, just a regular Stormtrooper. But that whole Revenge thing, instead of Return of the Jedi, makes it extra special, extra rare, and it's obviously not punched. And here, this is really cool. This is a Obi-Wan Kenobi from Revenge of the Sith. Which I've got this version of him, but not with the foil wraparound. It's 
got like the foil cover, which this is the super, super rare one. And uh, glad I picked this up. It looks like it's an awesome shape. Another rare one here. This is a Nikto Skiff Guard from Return of the Jedi. One of the uh, henchmen from Jabba the Hutt. But it's got the uh, Darth Maul sticker on the front. This is a uh, very, very rare, very hard to find, especially in that condition. Yeah, there's a nice uh, amount of figures in there. Oh, wow. Wow. So this here is a Rebel Commando, but it's the variant. The packaging is the same, if you notice. It's got a white guy on the packaging, but they did a variant with a figure. And gosh, this thing is like in perfect shape. This is like super, super, super hard to find. And if you find it, it's not cheap. I promise you. Yeah, this is a... Oh. Wow. I'm like marking out. So we have a, from Star Wars, the original episode four, Sand Trooper. But as you can see, it's got the foil, which I've got the regular version of this, uh, but not with the foil. So I got it now. This is awesome. And right here. This is from the Phantom Menace. This is Nabu Pilot. Kind of more of a more of a common. I don't think it's really super sought after, but you know, if you want to uh, get them all, that, that's one of them you got to get. Wow, that was uh, for a box of items. That was pretty dope. Pretty dope. Oh, cool. This is from uh, Return of the Jedi. This is the Ewok, uh, Ewok Assault Catapult. This is actually a Kmart exclusive. This is really, really cool. It comes with Chubray and Stimzy, two Ewoks that you only get in this uh, box set. I wanted to get this thing years ago, and it's just one of those things that I slept on it, and you know what they say, if you snooze, you lose, and now I paid probably three times what I could have got it for back then. Man, this table makes all the difference in the world. I remember when I did the last uh, video with you all, I was like cursing myself while I was doing all this, like, wow, why didn't I, uh, why didn't I bring that table? Like I had sought out to bring it. I just forgot it. So this is actually, I just unboxed one of these. This is another one of those Obi-Wan Kenobi box sets. And the reason why I bought two of them was like how I said earlier, I'm going to keep one sealed just like this. And then I'm going to take the figures out, take the figures out of another box and, uh, display them with the rest of the figures this box i think is from entertainment earth which is one of the biggest toy companies out there oh wow they came in cool boxes okay we're gonna switch lanes real quick this is gi joe oh okay i know exactly what this is now this is uh some uh, a company called Super 7. Well, I'm not going to open it right now, but this is Snake Eyes. They're, I think they're like 7-inch figures. Super, super dope. This is a new item. These had just came out recently. And uh, the other one is Cobra Commander, which I'm sure it's going to look exactly the same as that, but probably blue. Yep. But you can't see the figures, but they're packaging. 
Look how cool that is. Super dope packaging. I love my G.I. Joe too, but, you know, Star Wars has my heart. G.I. Joe and Transformers. I mean, obviously, I grew up in the 80s with all these toys, so that's why I'm, you know, basically doing this now. It's uh, nostalgia. This is a box from Big Bad Toy Store from The Mandalorian, Luke Skywalker. When he actually uh, showed up on the light cruiser and made his reappearance for the first time. Oh, this is super, super dope. This is from the Mandalorian as well. This is uh, Grogu. Some people like to call him Baby Yoda still, but he's not Baby Yoda. But Black Series Grogu with the little child carrier. Got another super rare one right here this is a figure from rogue one his name is antok merrick and the only way you can get this figure is if you bought the x-wing fighter uh you know spaceship and he comes with it but i'll tell you the reason why I did not buy the X-Wing fighter, I don't really collect the vehicles unless it's a vehicle I just really, really love. But a lot of times the characters come inside the vehicles and the cardboard, you know, the case is all messed up and destroyed. So instead of, you know, spending a ton of money on buying the vehicle and hoping that the figure comes undamaged, I'd rather spend a little bit of extra money and just buy the figure direct off somebody from eBay. And that's what I did there. Oh, nice. All right. We've got another, uh, got another rare one here. This here is a Luke Skywalker from the Empire Strikes Back. And... It's got the foil border with the sticker, but I've got the, I've got the original one of this, uh, without the foil, but you know, I wanted that foil. It's an awesome shape to be this old and to be in this kind of shape. I mean, you know, the vintage collection is up in the almost 300 now. And this is VC04. So this was like the fourth figure they put out. And like I said, I had the uh, I had the regular one, but not the foil one. And now I've got the uh, rare one. And we've got one other figure here. I like when they put these in the, they're called star cases, but I like when they put these in star cases because, uh, you know, it's almost guarantees it's not going to be damaged. Wow. Same scenario. Revenge of the Sith, one of General Grievous's Magna Guards. And I've got the regular version, but I did not have the foil. And, uh, wow. Like this is a haul today. This is uh, this is like an epic collector's moment, and I think it's cool. I get to share this with you all. Star Wars, no way. <laughs> this is a original clone trooper from Revenge of the Sith. Packaging looks good. It's got the. Uh, send away sticker which obviously it makes it more rare but i've actually i think i have the foil one of this they don't make foil of everything just certain characters but but i didn't have the regular version which i do now and obviously like cds i'm a i'm a variant nut i like to have you know all the variants I'm not really a fan, 
you know, that they, they reissue some of the original figures in brand new packaging. And I think like the backs are different. I'm not really a fan of uh, rebuying them. If I have the original version, that's good enough for me. But who knows? Maybe I'll get bored and have everything and grab them too one day. But just that's not my thing right now. Return of the Jedi, Knee and Nub. That is a at least hundred dollar figure. You can't find this thing less than a hundred. Uh, this one is unpunched. You see the top there. It's not punched. And uh, you know what's wild? I thought I had this figure, and I was looking through everything, and I guess I was in my head. I was thinking the one I had was actually the version when I was a kid, like the 1980s version. And uh, so, you know, once again, I had to pay top dollar for it. And there's five or six of them out there, but not in good shape. And I found one, I got lucky, that was in amazing shape. More peanuts. Peanuts grind my gears. I just want to make sure you all understand. I don't like peanuts. Oh, wow. Man, this is a good one, guys. Just, I mean, just this whole haul. This is a Gungan warrior from Phantom Menace, who is the species what Jar Jar Binks is, but this thing is hard to find, rare, it's unpunched. I mean, this, uh, this whole unboxing has been amazing today. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I'm going to take this out of the case. Ah! It's a good thing it landed flat, but <laughs> this is a Star Wars Revenge of the Jedi Darth Vader. Uh, still has the sticker on it. I mean, look at that thing. Perfect, perfect shape. Gosh, this is, this is another one of those super, super hard ones to find. Uh, I would have so just blown my vibe if I had like <laughs> dropped that and it was messed up. Wow. What a, what a score. Like to find that in that shape. I mean, I've probably got 30 different Darth Vader's, but I've never had that version of Darth Vader. And that's a, that is a rare, rare find. Yeah. This here is another Star Wars special action figure set from Empire Strikes Back. And it's got Lando Calrissian, Luke Skywalker, and a Bespin wing guard. It's a three pack. These are uh, old and pretty rare. I think there's like 15 different three sets like these which I, I showed you one earlier with the darth vader villain set but i had all of these but i think two or three and i just went ahead and picked them up because they're getting so outrageously priced that if i don't get them now you know i'm gonna pay double for them later ah more peanuts have i ever told you all i hate peanuts but hey, they do protect, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Man. I don't want to say it keeps getting better because 
everything we have opened has been unreal and uh, already amazing, but like this is a uh, first edition Gamorian guard. These were uh, like basically Jabba the Hutt's henchmen or uh, personal security guards, but this is the first version. I've never had this. I've got a re, I've got like a repress version. You know, they came out with a variant, like what, 30 or 40 bucks. But this is a, gosh, the condition is pretty immaculate. Wow. Star Wars unboxing at its best. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you all just appreciate seeing some cool stuff. But for the people out here who know what this stuff is, like, this is pretty amazing. Oh, I forgot I ordered this. This is a four-figure special from the Bad Batch. From those, uh, for those who don't know who the Bad Batch is, it's actually one of the, uh, it's a new cartoon series on Disney. It's uh, basically a brand new story of stormtroopers, or clones, that uh, they're actually good. It's actually a really cool series. Uh, the second season just came off the air, and uh, they just announced a third and final season, but it's actually uh, it's actually been a really good uh, really good series for a cartoon. We are getting there. This has obviously has went much quicker than the last one did. There's way less boxes, but having these two tables literally made all the difference in the world. G.I. Joe classified action. Which, you're not really seeing a lot of this because I practically have all the G.I. Joe uh, classified figures. But this is Outback. There's two versions of him right now. This was a uh, Target exclusive. I'll tell you something funny about this. This is... Uh, Another G.I. Joe. This is a Cobra Viper. This is a Target exclusive. And I bought this damn thing months and months ago. And I couldn't find it. And I thought I was crazy. I knew I bought it, but I didn't know what happened to it. And I literally bought this again. And then I swear the day after I bought it, I found the one that I already bought. So I've got two of these. I mean, I might just hang on to it. That thing is very valuable. I'm sure if I waited two years, I could probably sell it for double the amount of money that I paid for it. But that's uh, a super expensive, very, very hard to find figure. More Star Wars again? This is a Star Wars a Jedi Survivor KX security droid unpunched man they packed this thing super good with tape this son of a bitch would float this is pristine this is a darth vader empire strikes back just like i showed you all earlier but it does not have the foil oh, hold on maybe i'm tripping oh no yeah yeah it was a it was a Return of the Jedi one. There it is. No, it was Empire Strikes Back. I can't keep up with all this shit, y'all. So here we go. Now I have the regular version. Never had either one of the Empire Strikes Back. Regular version and the foil version. This is one of those figures that I was telling you all about earlier that I could have got for like 13 bucks couple years ago and I slept on it. It's from the Phantom Menace, Ben Quadaneros. But it's in perfect condition, but still. Could have bought this thing for like thirteen or thirteen or fourteen bucks a couple years ago and it's like it's like a fifty or sixty dollar toy now. Oh, okay. Nice. This is a one of those brand new Walmart 
50 year Lucasfilm exclusives, ATST driver. Perfect shape. That's saying a lot for a Walmart exclusive. I'm not trying to bash on Walmart, but just most of their toys got all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, cool. Return of the Jedi speeder bike and scout trooper. This is something newer that they released. But I mean, I pre-ordered this thing like eight months ago and it just, just now got delivered. And this right here is a GI Joe classified uh, barbecue. Another Walmart exclusive. It's a Tuscan Raider. Lucasfilm 50 year anniversary. I guess I should be impressed. Walmart and being in that kind of shape. This is a Obi Wan Kenobi. I've bought three of those damn things. Never fails. Another Walmart exclusive. Clone Wars Arc Trooper Captain. It's got some really cool, like, cartoon art on it. Nice. Hmm. Oh, okay. Jen Urso and a Scarif Stormtrooper from Rogue One. When I saw this, I was like, why did I get this? Because I already have one, but I remembered now I needed this one, and it came as a pair, and I couldn't find one of these in good shape. And I found one in great shape, but it was, so I just bought an extra figure is all that was. Oh, yeah. Please tell me this is in good shape. Yes, it is. This right here is the last special action figure set I needed. It's a Target exclusive. It's called the Android set. It's got Chewbacca, R2-D2, and C-3PO. And this, you can hardly ever find it on eBay. I don't even want to tell you what I paid for this. But this has been a monkey on my back for years because I've been looking for this. Could not find it anywhere. Hmm, cool. Oh, okay. This is one of three of that tangent I've been on about I could have bought this thing for like 13, 15 bucks years ago and I slept on it and slept on it and you know, probably a fifty I probably paid fifty bucks or something like that for this. But I've got it now. Cool. And it's it's unpunched, which honestly it doesn't matter to me, but in the grand scheme of things it makes it more expensive and Makes it way more rare. <laughs> well, here, before I go over here to get to these other boxes, I've got to clean up this box mess. But I'm going to go ahead and show you all. If you remember, there's a box over here that I told you about that had something that wasn't toy related, but it was more music related. These are like gigantic peanuts. They're not like those little ones that blow all over the place, but they're still peanuts. I don't care what you say. All right. So what we have here is a company called 360 Systems. And this is called an instant replay box. This is so freaking cool. You know uh, what a replay box is? Basically, the first time I even heard of a replay box was Tech 9 had two of them on tour with him. And basically, you know, when, when artists go to shows, most artists 
have like a, a USB flash drive or thumb drive that they give the DJ and you have your set on it. And, uh, but like this is what the big boys use. Obviously, if you're not using a live band, but this is the brand new replay box that just came out. I literally bought this thing a year ago, just came out and they just shipped it to me. And this thing is badass. Gosh, I'm so excited about this. So basically what you do is with a replay box, you can take all your songs you ever do live for any show. And you have these things called hotkeys and you can assign all of, uh, all of your songs. You know, let, let's just say if I typically do 15 tracks at a show, you know, I could put these first 15 buttons with all those songs, but let's just say if, you know, had extra time or the crowd wanted me to do an encore and do another song, I can basically fill all these keys up with every song that I could possibly think of to do live. You know, if the front of the house, if their sound system goes down and you've got a USB flash drive, you're kind of screwed. This thing plugs right up into the, into the system. You don't have to have a computer. You can literally run your set off this, but tech nine, uh, has been using these for years and twisted has been using these for years. They're very expensive and they're nice, but they're game changers. Uh, and this is the brand new number three model. Uh, I believe the, the one, the, the number two model has been out for many, many years and they're just so solid. They haven't figured, you know, they haven't had the need to have to change it, but with the replay box three, it actually has a touch screen, full color screen. You can actually import songs in here, ed edit them right there on the spot. I mean, this thing like does it all. I'm, this is like the cherry on the uh, on top of the Sunday of of everything we've opened so far today. Because obviously, this is going to take my uh, live shows to uh, un to another level. And obviously, as an artist, you know that's that's what we strive to do. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to like get home and and really learn this thing and figure it out. I'm super, super excited about this. Well, y'all, that, uh, that concludes our video today. I hope uh, everyone had a good time. I hope you all enjoyed everything you all got to see with today's unboxing video. And, uh, you know, I know this has been another long one, so, I'll keep this closing and, you know, short as possible. But once again, thank you all, everybody, for joining me and uh, get ready for, uh, you know, before you know it, we're going to have video number three on the way. So y'all have a good one. Peace.